Hello, hello. So, welcome to Pathfinder Cake Maker. Uh, this is going to be a different video from what I normally do. I think I'm just going to do a quick look at this. It's going to be a long, a, a quick look, I'd say. I'm going to probably be recording for a while, but I, I think I'm just going to do a quick look at this game. Um, I've been playing a lot of this game so far. It's really fun. Um, I've, I'm about, like, chapter, the third main section, like the third act of the campaign. I think there's, like, seven or eight or something like that. I think uh, I'm at the third act. Uh, I beat the uh, people out of the... I beat the trolls out of the Dwarven Ruins, and now uh, people are now exploding into summon... into, like, magical creatures, so that's pretty fun. Anyway, uh, I've, I've been having a blast with this game, honestly. It's so good. And I noticed that there is a mode called Beneath the Stolen Lands that is uh, com like a sort of like a roguelite mode where you have like a 20 floor dungeon that you ha you go through every time you get to create your own party members, which sounds incredibly fun. I'm a little bit of a newcomer to the ro roguelike genre. I just I just got into the Binding of Isaac like about a, like about a couple years ago, honestly, and um, like at the end of college, I think. And then, um, yeah, that was, damn, that, I have like a thousand hours in that game now. It's, it's insane. And then, but I'm, I'm pretty new to it. Um, the only other game I played is Darkest Dungeon, and I, I didn't get very far in that game, to be honest. I got, I got, I got fairly far. I never, I didn't get to the last dungeon, though, so whatever. Okay, so, um, I know, unfortunately, I would like to play on a harder difficulty, but unfortunately that does, I kind of want to do like a role-playing thing, like I kind of want to make my own characters for this game, and I know that on the higher difficulties you really need to optimize, optimize instead of playing for, um, like, instead of role-playing, so, if I want to, I want to try to do, just do like normal class lines, not really, not really doing multi-classes at all, so I want to, I want to keep everybody like, in the same class, so, I know that's, uh, maybe not how you're supposed to, I might do prestige classes, though, I might, I might do exceptions for prestige classes, but you'll see, you'll see, if you don't know what that means, you'll see, I don't, I don't know what that means either, so, whatever, okay, so, uh, if you don't know, what, I guess if you don't know what Pathfinder is, Pathfinder is, like, a sort of, like, an open source D&D, &D, and it's got a lot of different, it's got a lot of variety in it, it's not necessarily all medieval, uh, there's, there's, a uh, well, there's something called Starfinder, which is complete sci-fi, but there's also sci-fi elements in certain worlds, and you can choose to include or exclude those, depending on if you want them. But we're going to create a new character for here. I also uh, have downloaded several, uh, like a couple hundred new portraits for me to choose from, so I don't have to choose all of these, uh, any of these ones I don't want to. So, uh, this is going to be the leader of our party that we're about to create. Um... Oh my god, it's it's lagging. Is this... I'm hoping this is just because it's loading the pay images and not because it's, uh... And not because it's actually capturing at a low frame rate. Okay, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what's happening. Um, let me actually check my usage. My, uh, my... Hold on, I'm sorry. I apologize, I should have done this before, all this before. No, I'm not having too... My usage isn't too bad, so... Memory's getting a little up there, but... Not too bad. Anyway, so as you can see, I downloaded a bunch of portraits mods that can... A bunch of portraits from the uh, the mod nexus that we can use as a sort of guide. Okay, I think um, for our leader, I think we're gonna we're gonna have to do like a paladin of some sort. That seems very fun. I'm not gonna do look at. We we'll, might have an angel party member later because that's that's pretty fun. But I think we're just gonna go for uh, you know uh, a standard. Paladin from the outset. So, I think we could do a Dwarven Paladin. That might not be too bad. But I'd rather have him a little younger. Just, you know, that's that have that main character energy, you know? Even though, like, for, for a video game main character's work, of course, on, if you're doing tabletop, then you don't really want to do main character at all. Even though, look at how sad he looks. Why does he look that sad? Oh, I'm sorry, bro. So, oh, that's, that's a cool looking dwarf. Look at him. And then we got some female dwarves down here. Hopefully I don't, I actually, I did delete one portrait because it had nudity in it. I hope I caught that. I hope that was the only one. That's the only one I caught. So, uh, hope, yeah, hopefully that's not gonna happen again. We could do, yeah, there's a bunch of, uh, of course, very 
very well armored women in here. As always. That's that just al wait, is that just the that's alloy. Oh my god. Well, I um uh I hope yeah, whatever. Um yeah, let's just go with let's just choose. Uh, of course the the bar is now gone. I've I've I was warned about that. If you download too many portraits, the bar just kind of disappears. But we're going to choose uh, we're going I'm going to find a main character that speaks to me. Please don't be nude. Okay, that's just Red Sonia. That's fine. That's just Red Sonia armor. Get the heck off of that. Okay, that's fine. Um a main character. What would a main what does a main character look like? That looks like a main character, but that is unfortunately not something I could show for very long. Uh, there's also Zambambos, of course. That's pretty cool, honestly, but I don't think that would work for like a party member slots opening up for party members. Um Let's see, what else should we do? That's pretty cool looking. We could do like a, we could do like a rogue. I guess rogue mages don't really work if I'm going to do, if I'm going to do like, uh, mixing matching. If I'm going to do mix matching, I'll only do two classes then. But that looks, that looks, girl looks, this girl looks pretty cool. I think I'm, I think this is the one that's speaking to me right now, as far as a main character goes. Uh, yeah. So obviously, obviously this is definitely, we can just choose whatever class we want. We don't have to, like, do any, we don't have to do like, uh, character we don't have to we don't have to choose like something that looks like this like a man this would be like a magus i think is what this is looking like but we can just choose whatever oh, that kind of looks like her anyway i like what i think it just chooses it automatically maybe based on what the portrait is but i don't i don't know if that metadata is in there um yeah it's just gonna be we're just gonna start out as a human we could also do like a half elf as well <laughs> that's that would be fine what is the difference again you get you get an extra feat at and you get you get to choose your ability bonus. Uh, you get an extra feat and skilled. Um, what does this do? First, okay, that makes sense. Uh, and then, and then the difference between half health is you get keen senses, so plus something perception to perception, which is pretty good. Um, but you don't you you do need perception on pretty much everybody because everybody can make the perception checks, so. Whatever, skill focus, bonus feat as first level, and elven immunities. Let's go with regular old human left-handed person. Um, as far as the body type, let's do normal. I don't think it matters. I think, honestly, the vanilla person was perfect for this, uh, for this portrait we chose. Because this character creator is not great, but whatever. You can't choose a beard for your lady? What the frick, dude? I don't. I think even dwarf women don't have beards in this universe. Yeah, dwarf women don't have beards either. Okay. So now, I know. I know there's a bug with this where you have to like exit, where you have to like do some weird stuff. Like it, it'll if you if you click on Paladin just to see what it does, uh, it'll automatically set you to lawful good, and you can't choose any of the classes that require like chaotic or neutral, or okay, or require any other alignment type. So, but we can choose a Paladin for our first character because I kind of want to. Do something. Um, Magi spent. So we could do. Yeah, I think we're. I'm thinking of a Magus for this, for how this character looks. I think this. I think that would be pretty good. We can choose. We definitely need a tank and a healer. But as far as DPS goes, uh, the Magus in the main game, uh, who's an Eldritch Scion, is really fucking great. Uh, I believe. Okay. Uh, I forget what the difference of this is. Uh, what well, the difference between these specifically are. So, um, let's see. This is going to be a while, though. Cause cr character creation is one of my favorite things in games. Just to uh, make kind of... this is That's why I planted it so much in Grimrock and, and kind of poured over it. I, I have, like, a spreadsheet of the already the feats I've chosen for the main characters in the main game. But that doesn't, that's neither here or there. So I believe... Yeah, all of these. So you get you get bloodline selection. Yes, okay. This is like a cross between a mage and a sorcerer right here. So you get bloodline for that. I guess let's go over. Yeah, let's just go over what mage gets. So you get like a little, uh, a different pool that's like a mad magic pool. I believe it's similar to what the monk gets, or at least the scaled fist gets. I don't know if the monk regular monk gets it. I haven't chosen them. Um, so you can expend one pool, and then you can uh, 
you can do various things with that uh, thing in the pool, and like the default thing you can get is you just get like one more, uh, you get like one a bonus to hit and uh, damage, and then uh, spell, and then you can uh, don't get uh make all oh, text melee weapons and final penalty and cast. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty good. You can just I think I believe you can't do this normally if you're uh, a normal character. So what is Sword Saint? Uh, Sword Saint spends his time being a goober. Hold on, I need to check something. I'm sorry, I'm moving. I'm moving stuff around real quick. It's incredibly, incredibly uncharacteristic. Okay. Sword Saints. A sword Saint spent his life focusing on training and meditation to perfection. Single use a weapon which is not always a sword. Channeling his arcane went through it and dizzily dance. Dizzily dance, whatever. Dizzying dance. So what is the difference between this guy and this guy? And this guy. So this one you get a bloodline selection. I guess this is cross you get like so, uh, extra spells from your bloodline, but you also might... What is this one? Okay, what is it? Okay, Magus Arcana. As Ian's levels, Magus learns a specific arcane secrets blending martial, martial skills starting at third level. It's one Magus Arcana. Uh, you're kind of more than once. Okay. And I believe these are bloodline specific. On these one, on these ones, uh, they might be different. I don't, I don't think it matters, though. Uh, so for, you get spell recall. A mages, the vanilla mages class gets spell recall. At fourth level, the mages learns to use his arcane pool to recall spells he already cast. With a flipped action, he can recall any single mages spell that he has already prepared and cast that day by expending a number of points from his arcane pool equal to the spell's level minimum one. I spent too much time concentrating on reading that and didn't actually, like, absorb any of that information. Oh, cool. So you can just ca you can just recast a spell if you have points from your pool. Bonus Magus feats, you get a bonus. Okay, you get a bonus feat. That's like the fighter thing. Man, fighters are so OP in this game with their with their feats, dude. Um, medium armor. Even though they, they don't get many bonuses, like as let me show you fighter. So like fighters, I don't think they get, they don't get many bonuses. Like this weapon training is just. It's just pretty vanilla skill, honestly. Just plus one attack bonus on damage rolls, which is pretty good. Again, vanilla isn't bonus, and then, and then you get a uh, armor check penalty re redo, and then a bonus. So this is like uh, armor check is like you have hard time moving around and avoiding st and avoiding uh, co specific combat maneuvers, not a not necessarily attacks. But if someone tries to trip you, you'll have a harder time avoiding it if you're in armor. But in this and this skill uh, removes that. And then fighter gains a plus one bonus on will saves against fear. Okay, that makes sense. And that's kind of specific, but fear is a very, very annoying uh, status, as I've learned through in the main game. So, pretty good. And then they, they get bonus combat feats, which is incredible, honestly. But you kind of you kind of need it for a frontline fighter. We'll do a paladin in our our second person, but probably because I haven't I haven't fucked with paladin. I fucked with plenty of fighters in the fight, plenty of fighter skills in the uh, main game because it's just just so useful. Uh, Magus, let's go back. I think I think this is what's speaking to me right now, and I, I kind of want to get on choosing it. So, and then you get uh, like training as fighter level for purposes for qualifying for feats. Oh, that's pretty good. An arcane heavy armor, sword saint. Proficient in simple weapons and in single, a single martial of exotic melee weapon of his choice. A sword saint is not proficient with armor or shields and suffers normal arcane spell your chance for casting magic spells while armored. A sword saint can't a weapon bonus focus with his chosen weapon as a bonus feat. And then you get uncanny defense. Uh, as a dodge bonus to her armor class. Okay. So it's extra dexterity. So um, in in Pathfinder, dexterity actually counts towards your armor for every type of character. I, I believe in D and D uh, that's only for um, specific classes, but in in Pathfinder, everybody gets a dex a bonus based on their dexterity. So um, this adds your intelligence modifier to your armor class as well. And your armor class is how hard you need to get hit, how hard it is to hit you. Um. As he gains levels of magic, okay, yeah, this is similar. 
I think instead of the main difference is instead of spell recall, you get this bonus a uh, bonus mage's feet, which is pretty good, honestly. And then you get the bloodline, which uh, affects what skills you can take. And then uh, Magus gets, instead of Spell Combat, Eldritch Stein gets Eldritch Pool. Oh, they get they get a buffed. They get Eldritch Pool, which is uh, different feats based on your bloodline. Which is pretty cool. Um, I, let's see, Sword Saint, what is this? Oh, you get True Strike, that's pretty good. True Strike is basically you add like a plus 20, plus 20 your dice roll to hit or something. It's... Uh, oh, that's perfect strike. That's not true strike. Okay, it's similar though. So it's just yeah, standard things. You get spell strike. You get a bunch of stuff, and then weapon mastery. Confirm all critical threats. Makes this automatically confirm all critical threats and add their damage multiplier increase by one. Okay, cool. So uh, in this game, if you roll a nat twenty, you also roll a chance to crit. I don't, I don't know what the roll, what the chance to crit needs to roll to specifically crit, but it's, it's so it's a little bit harder to crit that in this game. But and then in normal league, you can't just roll a nat twenty. You have to roll a nat twenty and then roll some uh, above some other number to get that. I believe it's also above the tar target's armor class. So it'll, it'll if so if you roll a nat twenty, you automatically get a critical with this. That's pretty cool. So what's the main main difference is the canny defense. Uh, so add your intelligence modifier. Intelligence modifier. Make a number of attacks of opportunity in a round equals your self offer. That's pretty good. And then initiative roll is automatically a nat, nat 20. So you will probably go first in any situation unless another person rolls a nat 20 as well. A greater And you get spell combat, of course. You get arcane weapons. And then... Um, Majors, the Majors Arcana, and you get Lightning Draw, Intelligence Modifiers roll to Initiative Rolls, okay. That becomes useless at Perfect Reflexes, but whatever. It'll help. It will definitely help, and then you get, uh... Bonus Major Feet. Oh, you also can see what spells you get at each level. That's, that's, this, I think this one is what I'm gonna go for. But now we can, we can check what Eldritch Archer does. This is for Archery. I don't really want to do Archery. Yeah, it gives you ranged spell co combat. Which is pretty good, but I haven't messed with it at all. Maybe I can need to put my the archer into that, into this uh, thing, maybe. That might be pretty cool. Hmm. Sorry, my window was rattling. I think it's just the weather outside. Ah, uh, that was creepy. Okay, okay. This is our. I think this is what I'm going to choose. We're going to choose Sword Saint. I'm going to try to keep. Uh, them in in a specific class, but we'll see. Because you know, uh, sneak attacks are just so fucking good in this game. You kind you kind of just want to pick one up. Okay. So let's see how much we needed. Dex and int. Yeah, so that's that's why it says right here. Um, I don't know what else we need. We didn't specific, specifically need to get. Other than that, but yeah, I believe your intelligence modifier messes with that so we want we probably want uh int bonus on this let's just do that so we get a couple more points back do i want to raise anything else hmm probably just strength right or just maybe con just for a little bit more health Yeah, I think that would work. I think that works, honestly. I don't know all the optimal choices what they are. I'm not gonna i I'm not gonna subtract anything for now. But I don't even know if these matter, honestly. In this. They might. Hmm. Well we know perception matters, so let's go ahead and get that. Let's just go ahead and put one point into that. We're gonna do we're definitely going to do mobility though. So we can do because there's a skill called fighting defensively that's really really good and if you get you need mobility three to make it work so um as far as this goes i think we can also do does this i don't i don't know what the rules for picking locks are i don't know if cer only certain classes can do it or whatever but um 
we can choose it for now. And if it's a wasted feed, it's a wasted one. It doesn't matter. I'm playing on normal anyway. And then let's just do these two. Oh, you know, I'm not going to use stealth. I don't care. What is athletics chosen? I don't know if uh, you need athletics to do something. You might need athletics to, to multi-class, but whatever. With a white weapon, Elven Curve Blade, Blood, S Dark, or Rapier made for a creature of your size category, you can also, instead of your strength modifier, you can use your dexterity modifier instead of your strength modifier and attack rolls. Well, there is, there is one thing I know about this game, and it's that if you want, you want to choose uh, improved unarmed strike, because it leads to a really good class skill line. So we're going to go ahead and get that, we're going to go ahead and get that early. It's a, it's a useless feat right now, but we want to go ahead and grab it as soon as ASAP so we can grab, um, dude, can we get it now? No, I don't think, okay, I don't know where you can get it, how you, how you get it. Let me see. There we go. Crane style, monk level one or base attack bonus two. And then, yeah, this is this is the line you want to go to, so that's this. If you're doing frontline fighting, you pretty much, and you don't have, like, a shield, you pretty much want this. This this allows you to do an uh, attack roll for fighting defensively. Whenever you lose the dodge bonus from Crane Wing, because an attack missed by four less, the enemy provokes the attack, an attack more opportunity. Oh, that's really good. Okay. I didn't know, I didn't know that second thing. I believe this is also, like, uh, plus four damage bonus on AC with melee attacks. You have one hand free, which I always will, so that's that's why I want to take it. So, like, basically, if you don't have a shield, you kind of want this. But you do lose it if uh, enemy rolls close to... Either hits you or rolls close to you. Or rolls close to hitting you. So, um, doesn't work on some mountains very much. Misses you by four or less. Oh, do you get it if you get hit? Oh, that might... Misses you by four or less specifically, so whatever. We're going to want to. I don't know if we're going to do any elemental focus things. I don't think it matters, at least not right now. Although it could be useful for uh, specific touch spells that we want to do. Um, so we're going to do. We might want to do get weapon finesse, but we'll see. And then. Beat your total hit by, and then what do we what do we want to do next? Um, I hate that it stays there. I'm just going to choose one so it just stays there. What does chosen weapon do? Uh, you can become proficient in a single weapon of your choice. So you're proficient in uh, all simple weapons, and then a single weapon of your choice. So if I wanted weapon finesse, we could definitely do that. We could definitely do that and grab a. Uh, Elven, cur we can grab a any light weapon, Elven Curb Blade, X Stock, or Rapier. I don't know how expensive those are, because I know you need to buy shit at the start of the game, so... I'm pretty sure, anyway. Deft Hands, uh, I don't need that. Even though I do need Trickery and Perception. Plus two Will bonus on all saving rolls. I don't know if I need, uh... Thing. We probably don't need that since we're gonna choose out since we get a free one anyway. Uh, persuasive, take it off. I don't need that. Shield proficiency, definitely not. Skill focus, maybe. Spell focus, uh, maybe as well. We know, we will need to see who we, we we can choose. Throw anything. Stunning fist, toughness, and two weapon fighting, definitely not. Okay, meta magic might be also be useful. Meta magic just basically allows you to you can choose to level up a spell to make it a higher tier spell, which means you get to cast it less. But uh, it gets like in power, it gets powered up somehow. So if there's a really good low level spell you want to power up, you can do that. Uh, you want to like extend the duration of you do that, and then uh, so we're probably eventually going to want to choose one of those combat casting. Um, maybe. We'll, pro we'll probably will need that, but you want to buff beforehand, so I'm going to choose. Um... Uh... Increase by one doctor plus one. I'm... I don't know which one to choose, honestly. Maybe just dodge. Probably just dodge for now. That's a simple one that we can choose, and if we need, like, a more complex one, we can get one later. Probably just... and then... 
we probably do need weapon finesse, because these weapons are really powerful at this. And, like, we can do, like, an... Where, well, we, Elven Curve Blade would make sense, um, but... Ed Stock, Rapier, Sturdy, you will probably want that. Um, yeah, cause since we, especially since we don't have any strength. Um, but we, maybe there'll be Weapon Finesse later. Unfortunately, I don't know, but we'll we'll just we'll just choose like a, a like an Elven Curve Blade, an Stock, or Rapier. Just grab one of those. So which one do we want? Uh, I guess you had to choose, right? Now, I guess we'll do S Stock. I don't know. That's fine. I hope this isn't rare or anything. I don't know. Maybe maybe it is. I'll I'll redo the fucking character if it if it's uh doesn't work. So now we get to choose our spells. Interesting. I'd I've learned I've learned a little bit on how this works. So we want we're gonna want a touch spell. We're gonna want, definitely want a powerful touch spell at the start, and we get how much? Oh, we get a lot of spells for because of our intelligence is so high. That's why. We're gonna want two true strike. Uh, we're not gonna want any range spells since we're gonna be fighting up close. Hmm. Is this is this only enemies? No. Probably going to want. Not burning hands. I don't think that's very useful. Um, probably shield. Yeah. Invisible, maybe. We can choose as a buff for somebody else if we need, to, like, if we need to buff a rogue or something. Expeditor trait, definitely. I forgot about that one. And then maybe just enlarge and reduce. Just in case we need to buff that. I don't think we need spray at all. We don't need... Yeah, but probably just uh, enlarge. And enlarge and reduce person are kind of self-explanatory. Enlarge people do more damage on average. And then reduce pe people are easier to hit. Reduce people are harder to hit, but do less damage. Smaller people. So smaller characters will do less damage. Okay. Um... Yeah, that's pretty good, honestly. I think, or I think that's I think that's what we want. I don't think there's another touch spell. I didn't see one. Well, I stone fist is not stone fist is. Uh, wait, what? I thought this was different. This I thought this was a different one. Why don't I have this on my character? My character's a monk in the main game. Oh, because I don't have any spells. I'm dumb. I should have this. I really want this. Okay, what are we going to choose for our character? You can just choose a male if you want. Hesitation is a waste of time. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think I think that's what I'm going to choose. I, this birthday doesn't matter. You know what? We're going to do an epic meme here. How long have I been recording? probably too long. We're going to do an epic meme here in Chase 420. And then as far as what what alignment we want, we, should we be just a fucking centrist? The, or, or like a, the worst D&D &D player in, at the group, at the table? The worst player at the table? Uh, hmm. Because we're, we're already going to have a a let's just do chaotic let's just be the worst player at the at the table so uh as far as names go um oh gosh this is the hardest part she's kind of dressed like lucina maybe that's fine let's do lucy doesn't matter oh it's cut, cutting off the y but hopefully it doesn't do that in normal gameplay i don't know why it would cut off the y and that's that seems like a very big oversight honestly for that like, for a screen that everybody sees your luck's run out Lucy the Sword Saint. Nice. Do you do be having that plus two con bonus, though? 
Yeah, you get special abilities from your stuff that everybody gets. Arcane Weapon Enhancement, Arcane Pool, Weapon Focus, S-Stock, Weapon Finesse. I hope this is a good choice, and we're also going to grab Crane Wing eventually. We're also going to grab the Crane Style bonuses eventually as well. I guess, I guess for a leader, maybe maybe Kaya Good would have been better, but whatever. Maybe she's just on the pursuit of knowledge for herself. Begin your adventure in the Pretempus Staff. Speak to the Silver Dragon and hire mercenaries. You have enough gold to hire three of them to begin with. Meet the Honest Guy, a merchant who can sell you supplies, weapons, and armor. Uh, will expand as you reach deeper into the depths. You can purchase scrolls and potions from the Silver Dragon. He can help you by casting spells from these scrolls if your characters aren't able to do it themselves. You can rest to recover health and spells by clicking on the table, but when it's all... But only when it's set, Silver Dragon sets the table each time you reach the next floor of the depths. This is the entrance to the Temperance Depths. Good luck. Nice. Okay, well, where am I? What the fuck am I? Uh, I haven't been here in the Nang game yet, so I don't actually know what I'm doing. Oh, here's, well, here's the Silver Dragon. Uh, the Silver Dragon stares at you for a long time, unblinking. Maybe it's just a trick of the light. But you think you could see a heavy mercury tear drop roll from this pearly eye. You have answered my call, protector of Galarian. I will have you know, no one has ever returned from these caves alive. Many valiant heroes before you have sacrificed their lives to bring victory one step closer. I have not forgotten their feats, nor will I forget yours. Who are you? Tell me about yourself. What do you want to know? I will hide to nothing from you. Who are you? My name is Zellerin. I'm a lo lo loyal servant of Apshu. One of the oldest and mightiest creatures in existence, according to the Dracula, he and his mate Tiamat spawned the dragon gods who created the whole world. Apshu is the patron of the deity of good, all good and metallic dragons. Oh, dragons are their own deities in this game? I, I didn't know. So, almost all dragon who loves his children, they assembled among divine creatures who have fought in the battle to defend all creation against Rovagug. Okay, okay. Rovagug is basically like the big, 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 big bad. He's uh, imprisoned. He's enchained to the center of the earth after like a giant battle in which a lot of the gods fought. A lot of the g good aligned gods fought him. So I guess the dragon god, the pa the dragon god was there too. Our metallic dragons, few non-dragons take up his cause, although honorable humanoids with interest in Draconic lore have taken up his faith from time to time. They typically wear a gold dragon's foot brooch or have custom-made equipment in the shape of the dragon's foot. That can't, that's stupid. Why not a dragon's head? Why a dragon's foot? Are you foot fetishists? Mm, dragon feet, yeah. Galarian lacks much of a centralized church at Absu. The largest congregation of humanoid Absu birds on Galarian is known as the Platinum Band, which maintains relatively small centers of worship in Opera and Absalom. Apara, and I, I don't know what Apara is, but Absalom is like the big, big city in this game. This is the main city. There's like millions of people live. Thousands of years ago, my god appointed me to watch over this place, where deep in the depths of hides a great evil. I knew at one time the repulsive smell of the beast and Rovagug, yeah. In prison since the age of creation, the god Rovagug, known as the Rough Beast, the Great Destroyer, and the World Breaker, seeks only to destroy the creation and other gods. Believed to be the imprisoned st in a state of torpor somewhere deep in Galarian, his increasingly restless stirrings are taken by many to be the cause of volcanic activity and earthquakes. His worshippers are known for embodying the gods' dominion over destruction, disaster, and wrath. But it took me centuries to locate the egg that he left. All this time, I've stood guard here, looking for a way to destroy the spawn before it hatched and brought a miserable sufferings to those who dwell upon the land. Apsu? Who is that? <laughs> the dragon casts a pearly starboard grace. Oh, Apsu, he is more ancient than all the gods whose names you know. He is the maker of all, who stands at the origin of the multiverse. Few mortals remember him, but we metallic dragons still praise him in our prayers. Is it just me, or are you really sad? So many heroes passed here. The noblest souls of Galarian, selfless protectors of their homeland, ready to sacrifice their lives to save it from the spawn of the beast. I remember each and every one, striding fearlessly down into the darkness. Almost none of them have returned. And it is my fault. <laughs> the dragon lowers his huge head. True repentance can be heard in his thunderous voice. 
I made a mistake and paid dearly for it. For you see, I never understood the true nature of the monster. For many years, I and the heroes who answered my call would wander these dungeons, thinking that the monster lava was the greatest threat. It was only when I found an egg and touched its shell that I realized the spawn had turned the entire dungeon into its nest. Madness, mortal. Darkness and madness are the wor monsters stored and shield, the f its food, and the material that its shell is made of. The heroes I have summoned here descended into madness. They lost their minds, and the spot of the beast fell upon their insanity. Oh my god. Somehow, I avoided the same fate. Somehow. Yes, yeah, somehow. They went down into the darkness, driven by the noblest of intentions, and were rewarded with only internal torment. What are you doing here? I am guarding the spawn of Rovagug. Rovagug? Rovagug? I don't- uh, someone probably said it in the game somewhere, but... That sleeps in a cave beneath us. I summon heroes to help me defend it. It is a long and joyless vigil, but you can thank me now. You can thank me and shower me with praise for this task, but I believe it will one day be over. Perhaps you yourself are a hero who will finally achieve this long-awaited victory? Question mark. Okay. What feats do you expect of me? An, e an egg laid by the abominable Rovagog has cursed this dungeon for thousands of years. The lava of this beast will destroy half of the river kingdoms if it hatches. The shell that surrounds this is a labyrinth of darkness and madness, inhabited by thousands of its former victims. Hundreds of heroes perished as they sought a way through it. But now I know where the egg is, and the path is almost clear. Almost. Oh, that is the saddest and scariest part. The spawn of the beast feeds on nightmares, and its very shell is made of madness. The caves around it are filled with insanity. It has flooded them with an ocean of darkness. The darkness, which distorts its very nature of the multiverse. Heroes who approach grow mad or perish in great suffering. This gives the egg a strength. The monster feeds on their terror and pain. Neither alive or dead, but tormented eternally by their worst nightmares. These brave heroes still wander the labyrinth, find and destroy four of their strongest, and the power of the beast's madness will awaken. Will weaken. Excuse me. No, it will not. It will not awaken. No, I'll be, I'll be bad. It then I'll be able to crack open the shell. We must destroy the monster before it hatches and grows strong. The fallen priestess, the weary traveler, the wicked chanter, the captor and his horrifying slave deliver them into the peace. And the path to the enemy will be opened. Oh my god, there's more. Oh my, I'm not going to do this right now. <laughs> Who is this fellow here with you? The abominable abandonment to greed, he has no shame. He plunders the corpses of fallen heroes and sells his prizes. But I cannot forbid him from doing it. He does some good. He sometimes traveling around the area, delivering supplies. I need supplies. Of course, but forgive me. My treasures are not endless, and I cannot provide you with free supplies. That would be too easy. But if you require the aid of a priest, select a scroll, and I will read it for you. Yes, you! But be careful. Down in the labyrinth, you're on your own. Do not go into the depths without a servant of higher forces in your party. Slay the fallen priestess. Kill the weary traveler. So I got a bunch of spells. There's a bunch of potions here. Does he have any weapons? I'm assuming the other guy has weapons then. Bag of holding. That's pretty good. 
You need diamonds, I believe, to cast resurrection spells, but I don't need those unless I'm bad, unless I'm really bad at this at this difficulty. You don't need those unless you're really bad. Okay, so I do have I I do have I do get some armor and rapier. That's pretty good. So I don't need I don't need a person. Okay, so let's get a paladin for ourselves. Can you summon more heroes? Why am I zooming? What happened? I didn't know you could do this with this button. I pressed the new button and, it, and it, it's like zooming in on the thing. Oops. That's <laughs> clicked out of it accidentally. I probably should have this uh, in window, in uh, windowed mode instead of, uh, not windowed, but I should have it in exclusive full screen. So I don't accidentally click out when I do stuff, but whatever. That's, that's just extra slots. I will summon who will I can. Let's see which of them will answer my call. Okay, more. Okay, we're looking for a paladin looking fella. I don't think any of these guys. What what race we want to choose? We don't want to choose a human guy. We can choose like an orc pet. We can choose like a you know what? That that old guy spoke to me earlier. This not this guy, but this guy. I love this guy. I love this man and how he looks. He's more like a like a dress like a he could be a cleric or a paladin, honestly. Man, the dwarf cleric in the game. Why is he a tiefling? The dwarf uh, cleric in the game is not good. Uh, the the harem, I don't think he's very good. Whatever. Dwarven weapon familiarity. Keen senses hatred, orcs, and goblinoids. Uh, defensive training giants. Uh, hardy. Stability. It's pretty good and slow and steady. Speed is never modified by armor or encumber. It's okay. He's gonna be a little slow boy, but you know. That's fine with me. I think that, that that color is a little bit better. Uh, I don't think he has hair. If he does, it's really thin. We could do like hair, hairstyle three, I think. That would be fine. Is there a really long beard? Yeah, beard two looks good. Let's do beard five, actually. How does this one look? That's beard five. Let's do a thick boy. And then face. Let's make it more gentle. Yeah, we can make it more gentle. Look, I'm, we're uh, right-handed is fine. Let's see, class. We're gonna want to do paladin. I believe paladin blocks off some other ones, but uh, we'll see. Paladin serves as beacons for allies in the chaos of battle. While, while deadly for opponents of evil, they can also empower goodly souls to act in their crusades. Their magic and martial skills also made them well suited to defending others and blessing the fallen with their strength to continue fighting. Smite evil. I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of evil down there. All simple and martial evidence with all types of armor and with shields, except for tower shields. Uh, deity selection and alignment restriction. Oh, cool. So you can't you lose every all paladin and powers if you get if you lose them. we also get healing. That's we, we're going to need healing, so we're going to have to do that. But we might want a cleric eventually, but I think I'm going to just go with a paladin for now, just so I get both rolls. We got a divine hunter. This is okay. This is a a, a range based guy, a range based version of the paladin, probably very similar. Hospitalier, charity intending the sick. Uh, Healing poor, giving age to sucker, and less in need. Okay, uh... Yeah, he still gets Paladin proficiencies. He doesn't get as many levels of smite, of smite evil. He only gets about half. Yeah, he only gets half. Or, like, about half. And then, uh... <laughs> on all saving throws, that's pretty good. Immune to all diseases, including supernatural or magic diseases. What does Divine Weapon Bond do? Divine Bond with a weapon... Uh, plus one enhancement bonus, and then plus up to maximum plus six every every three levels. Huh? Or, or you can add, or you can add like different types. So if you wanted uh, axiomatic, I don't know what axiomatic does, but flaming, of course, adds flaming stuff. So that's pretty cool. What do we need? Uh, lay on hands, heal wounds. Okay, that's cool. 
people are going to be lost charisma. Do dwarves get... Dwarves get a, a, a subtraction for Clarissa, right? Okay. If we're going to do a pally, then we can't choose a dwarf, unfortunately. Because we need a, we need the charisma bonus, unless there's a paladin type that has a... There's Divine Guardian take do it off of charisma. Divine Guardian is supposed to also concerns. Uh, she does not gain access to divine spell casting. Interesting. I think we're still... Yeah, we still need the charisma bonus, unfortunately, so... Yeah. Okay. So we're going to we're gonna have to choose something so another type of, and then we can choose like a halfling that might be that might be interesting. We're gonna to need to choose a different portrait then if we want to do that. Uh, you know what? We'll do an ASMR. We'll do an angel man or what lady later. But we're gonna to need to choose a different portrait. We're gonna find like the holiest little halfling we can. These, these half ones are not too holy. Holy shit! Hmm. No, that's, I mean, that's pretty cool. That's like a cool, like a little vivisectionist guy you can choose. At least these are half elf people. So mistaken. Let's get the boobs off the screen. Uh, elves. Let's see, we got... I sh really shouldn't click on any of these ladies, unfortunately, because there's a very big chance I didn't get, I didn't catch one that had... that was uh, TO TOS, but pretty good. Let's see, is this... this is more humans and stuff? That's a pretty cool portrait, I like that. I don't think there are many half halflings, unfortunately, but we'll, we can see. And these pirate girl might be fun, but we already chose like a dex-based person, so I mean we could choose a rogue. That's fine. Definitely one that's an archer. So we got like armored boys. That's pretty cool. We can maybe choose that. That might that might work. It's like a as like a halfling right there. That's I mean that's not. Do halflings have pointed ears? No. They have round. They have like uh, exaggerated rounded ears. Man, there's a lot of portraits. A lot, especially lots of elf women. I wonder. I wonder why that is. I wonder why people draw elf women so much. Hmm. Hmm. We'll never know. We'll never know why that happens. Uh, is there anything I might have to? cut and do something here but that is not a halfling we could just choose the one the default there's like a default holy halfling lady did i even download it i might have not downloaded the halfling pack to be honest i might be that dumb i think i did but i think yeah I, th I think i did but let's see hmm Lots of elf lady. Ooh, hello. Necromancer. That's pretty cute. We can. I mean, that's 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 pretty cool. Hmm. Um. No, don't click on that. It's a pretty good little halfling right there. But not not like the holiest halfling I've ever seen in my life. That's an angel. Unfortunately. Okay. I don't I don't like the ones that contain multiple people. That doesn't make sense for a portrait, really. In like an RPG. I love this one though. That one's, that one's pretty fun. I remember this one. This one caught my that one caught my eyes being really fun. Hello, I'm a wizard! Um There were a couple hat well, there were a couple halflings up there. Unfortunately, I don't see any more that are particularly down here. Hey, there's en Enquiado. Ikundayo. Ikundayo is his name. There's a reason I can't say it. 
some orcs, some tieflings. Not sure what he's doing down here, but that's fine, I guess. Got like a half orc lady. Ooh, don't show that. That's TOS. Those nipples were well defined. Um, I don't think there's another halfling, unfortunately. That's that seems to be not many not many people want to choose custom races based on that. I guess you can just look at normal person face and just pretend. But that's no fun. Hey, there's more tieflings. I wonder why people draw tea so many tieflings. Hmm. Hmm. I I just can't I just can't imagine why. I probably skipped some too. There's yeah, all these down here are just tieflings and then orcs right here. That was pretty cool. Uh, at least like the portrait. I'm not sure how much a halfling tank will do for us, but we'll see. Uh, what is the what was the one that was like a really this one? Yeah, that's like that's a that's a pretty good portrait, honestly. We could do that. As far as this goes, so we're, we're on class Cathil. I want—I didn't want to choose. We could do Paladin, we're straight up Paladin. We don't know. Hmm. Does who gets a charisma bonus? Is it orcs? Okay, they get a charisma bonus. And he doesn't get a dex. He does get a dex bonus though, because he's so she's going to be good at he actually good at defending. And with a small size, I believe she gets a bonus on. Uh, she gets a bonus to hit. Yeah. Yeah, she gets a bonus to AC for, for, from her size, so that's pretty good. So, um, we're definitely going to book up, want to buff up uh, Charisma and, uh, hmm. Is, do they get any buffs to armor class uh, by default? I don't think they do, but that's fine. Oh, well, we'll just choose a frontline fucking armor class. Little little lad, that'll be funny. Well, if we if we want to do armor class first, we're going to need to do a little bit of con as well. We're going to need to go in a little bit into con. A, a, several points in the con. At least, at least six points, I think. And then I think that'll work. I don't need to, I don't really want to bump up these. I don't know if it matters, really. Which one be, what is perception? Uh, keen senses? Okay. That's why it's buffed up. And then, as far as, we probably need to buff up dex, and at least these two by two points. Yeah. As this goes, this, this, this is a pretty. I mean, I don't know if balancing is the best idea right here, but maybe. We're gonna want a couple of hit points at least for. I don't know how much the paladin gets on hit points, but we can. If we if this doesn't work out, we can make. We can definitely make another tank. Like a pure, like a pure tank, like a star, like a fucking like tower shield person, or something like that. AC. Yeah, she is. Her AC is matching Lucy's because of the uh, because of the dexterity bonus right now. But that's fine. Uh, we want to do perception and what else? Uh, probably mobility. We might want to pick up. I don't know if we want to pick up fighting offensively yet, but when we get deity, let's do the deity selection first. We have Abadar, who is the god of cities, law, merchants, and wealth. We have, uh, yeah, Erisay. This is like basically the nature god. This is the... I have not seen this one yet. And no one's talked about it. Righteous valor, justice, and honor. Okay. Glory, good, law, sun, war. Erori. This is the knowledge god, I believe. Yeah. 
the not sharing knowledge specifically, not like collecting it. I think there's like another one that's specific, specifically collecting it for power. I think like collecting unknown knowledge is like collecting knowledge in order to help your fellow man, the perfect human. Don Paul, the healing light, Saren Ray, pretty basic one. A lot of people, this one gets talked about a lot. I believe there's like you get a Tristan and the main game is a cleric of Saren Ray. He's really good. He's a really great cleric. Honestly, he's way better. I wish they. I don't even know why they give you two clerics. I get. I get. I get Harem's like, like uh, thing. I get his like gimmick, but you know. Sorry, I need to drink some water. Known as the Eternal Rose, Eternal Mind, about the incorruptible art, beauty, love, and music. Yeah, that's the person that Valerie. That's the one that Valerie used to serve, and then Torag the dwarven one. So if you wanted a dwarven paladin, you could definitely do this. But I. don't Dwarven Paladins are bad anyway. So let's go with... Hmm. I think this one sounds cool. I mean, Saren Ray is the obvious for healing, but we can get a dedicated cleric later if we need to. For healing. Although we'll probably have to choose Sarah. We'll have to get another lawful good uh, one if you want to do that, but whatever. Not that you can choose anything else. Weapon finesse, no. We're definitely going to probably want to do weapon focus or armor focus at this point. We'll probably want to do heavy armor focus just to get that uh, buff heavy armor later. I don't even know if we get that at the beginning. We probably do, but yeah, we'll probably want to at least like a weapon and a shield. Um Together we stand. Stand with me. Yeah, Pius. Well definitely wants Pius. What is her name? What is a halfling? Let's let's go look okay. Well best site in the freaking world, I'm gonna tell you. Fantasynamegenerators.com. It's incredible. So you're gonna do like pop culture, uh Pathfinder names. Where is Pathfinder? We can go ahead and close that. Pathfinder, where is that? I don't know, what is this capturing right now? I hope it's not showing anything stupid. Halfling. Is it, is it showing my desktop right now? No, it's showing my, okay, it's probably muted though. Uh, her, 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 yeah, it's, it's totally muted, unfortunately. Uh, there's nothing I can really do about that. I mean, like, the halfling in the main game is just named a Lindsay. So it's not like it matters. That's I think that's male names right there. So uh Fortunately. I like I like uh This is like a white person name, honestly. Like a like something a millennial would name their like a millennial white suburban mom would name their child Malaya. But <laughs> But I, I like Astray. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. When we can only choose lawful good, because it's a paladin. Overcome. We shall overcome. Paladin proficiency. What do you? What is paladin proficiency? All martial weapons, all types of armor, and on shields. So you got to get you have to get proficiencies before you can choose, uh, like weapon focus or armor focus. So We're definitely going to choose heavy armor for this character. Yeah, I think I think we want mobility. Like the three, I don't know if we're gonna go with train. We're gonna go grab carry wing. If that seems like a, I mean, it's pretty good. But of course, let's go ahead and add you to my party. Looks like I don't know if you like stand here. If you're, she's like around here somewhere. No, but okay, no, it's not. What do I get? Do I get anything else, or do I have to? No, it doesn't look like she spawned anything. So unfortunately, I am gonna have to buy her stuff, unless I just want to punch things. Uh, or or use torches as weapons, which you totally can. So it looks like I'm gonna be doing the most damage from now. For now, unless I just want to kind of forego a uh some characters for something. So, uh, we're gonna need, definitely need some some support. I was thinking of, like, a summoner character. I think that'd be really cool. We could do, like, a 
like a neutral evil elf summoner or something like necromancer or something that seems like really fun honestly we could do necromancy or just conjuration would be fine oh let's see let's see let's get an elf a lad in here i think we want to we want a dude that's a pretty good one i don't know if we want to be in the swamp necessarily though yeah really i really shouldn't click on ones like that so yeah <laughs> look at arnold <laughs> uh yeah i don't look on any of these unless you really really want to get banned uh we're, yeah we're gonna choose a uh i wanted a male elf summoner this time so i've, I've already chosen two ladies so let's just do male for now Hmm. Lots of ladies, unfortunately, and that's a that's a rogue, kind of. Let's see if we can't get some sort of evil summoner vibe. I think that one up at the, at the top was really good, but let's see if we can't get something a little better. Nah. Hmm. I love this portrait. It's so funny. It's so fun. And I think we're in humans right now, so let's let's see if we can't get to elves somewhere. That one's pretty good, as far as like a that look, he looks a little bit more armored than I'd like, but yeah, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, I think that I think it's a little over the top, honestly. Right here, but then we want. Look at me. No, that's, that's a little bit more roguey than I want. I want, like, a magic person. Uh, I think that one at the top was what I want. But we'll see. There's the witch from uh, Dragon's Crown, I think. Right there. Oh, that would be kind of fun for, like, a run-through we could do. We could do, like, a specific... We could do, like, a party from a different RPG, like Chrono Trigger or something like that. That might be fun. It's like a kineticist halfling right there. Or like a or like maybe a dwarf. You could kind of roleplay it or or. Um What is this? That's edgy. Uh I think that one up there. I think I'm gonna go back up to that one up there in a second, but I'd want I wanna doom scroll for a little bit longer. Yeah, we're into wizard. We're into human wizards now. Oops, I wanted to click on that one, not, not go back up. Uh oh, it's having a little trouble. Yeah, I think I messed it up. Okay, let's go back up then. Uh, where was he? I don't. Can I find him again? We need to get out of angels first. I think they're they are all sorted a little bit, but. Uh, I think it was past dwarves, and it was into it was past goblins. I think. Oh God, am I gonna find it again? I don't even know if it, it does. This doesn't matter clearly. I, well, I see. Is that not like an actor or something? Is that Chris Pratt? I think that's Chris Pratt. I mean, Arch Archer would be cool, but we can choose that later, I guess. Oh, here he is. Okay. Let's do this one. That seems pretty cool. Let's go with Elf, Elven Magic. Elven Magic by Properties of Magical Items, Elven Immunities, Elven Weapon Familiarity, and King Senses. So definitely, probably a Media Half Elf. Uh, let's see, we got Adaptability, Skill bonus, Focus, a Sub Weapon Bonus. Feet at first level. You get to choose. You get to choose what you want. What skill focus you want? I think we're just gonna do a straight up elf. Let's do a man. So let's get a little bit longer hair going on in here. And beard. I guess elves just can't have beards. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the little smiley face. She's a thin boy. 
and then like a blonde hair, I guess. He's more like it's more like white hair, but yeah, that's, that's fine. And then we're gonna want to choose like a summoner. I don't even know if there's a summoner specifically cl specific class you can choose, but and these these like sorcerers are with our bloodline based, so we might want to do that, I guess. Uh, let's see something real quick. Is there is there a summon based class? Oh, druids, yeah. Druids or um, inquisitor monster tactician apparently is what you want. <laughs> Look at his hat! Look at his hat! Or either druid. Normal Druid or Inquisitor Monster Tactician is what you want. Yeah, okay. If we want a summoner, then we have to do this. Yeah, it's, it's even in the name. But load pre-made build. I don't want to... Oh, you can't even do it with this. Yeah, I get... Why is that even there? Still, whatever. That's fine. Summon Monster. Starting at first level, Monster Tactician. Some Monster 1, and you just get these for free. Some Monster 9. That's pretty good. 1d3 extra planar frost giants if you are evil and you are not. Oh my god. Best of stability, that's fine. Then we gotta choose a domain selection for our. This because this is Inquisitor class, so Inquisitors are like. They're like. Uh, well, they're essentially the Spanish Inquisition, that's what their outfits are based on, of course. Oh my god. Oh, no. And well, if we want to choose lawful evil, if we want to choose, we're going to choose for evil deities, so. I'm going to go for neutral evil for this character, so let's go. Okay, Asmodeus. Uh, known as the King of Hell, Monster, Witches, and Prince of Law, is the most powerful inhabitant of the nine arch devils that inhabit hell. The only one of hell's rulers to declaim, uh... Uh, full divinity, he was he is one who credited with penning the contract creation within which his followers believe is hidden for their supremacy, evil, fire, law, magic, trickery. Evil. Chaotic evil, neutral good, chaotic good, and chaotic neutral. Still no. Gorum no. Neutral evil. Gorza is the dualistic deity of nature, a god of storm and sky, who also has, also got us the wave and surf, born of the ocean fury and the wind's breath. Gorzera is a fickle deity. This one looks evil. Angry hag for a good reason. She's. Oh come on, Cortana, shut up. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh. I, I pronounced this god's name, and the 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 computer lady thought I was talking to her. Anger had for good reason. She is not a popular deity, as many fear her and her clergy, which is entirely female. Uh, okay, well, I can't be that. I guess I get, that's weird that it doesn't allow you to. Oh, because it's a disfigured prostitute's wives caught in adultery or pregnant teenagers disowned by their parents. Who? Okay. Birth from the oak. Oh, okay. That is certainly a lad. Aurori. You won't be lawful. Okay, you can't be lawful evil. Garundi god who holds knowledge of magic of all things. Okay, this is yeah, this is the guy that's the knowledge and magic of all of things. So you get this is just getting magic knowledge for knowledge's sake. And stuff like that. Knowledge or knowledge for power sake, stuff like that. That's pretty cool. This is obviously a <laughs> Yeah. This guy that's this guy's gonna be a good guy. Oh oh we the baddies. We wear the skulls on our uniforms. Oh we the baddies. Nor Grober is known as the once mortal god of thievery and assassination. Eh. Keeper of secrets. Um 
Enigma to Mo's true motives are unknown. Probably doesn't have any, probably just pretending like he does, because he can't figure anything out. Forasma neutral evil. Forasma's neutral evil, Lady of Graves, okay. Uh yeah, I guess yeah, I guess the neutral evil character does uh worship. So you you either have to be neutral or lawful neutral. You have to be neutral to some sort of neutral to be Forasma. Rovagug. And this is the guy we talked about earlier, so we don't need to go over that. Uh Shale, we don't need to go for that. Ergothoa. Pallid Princess, Lady of Spare, Goddess of Physical Excess, Disease, and the Undead. Dark Necromancers. Dead. Wait, she... No, Pharasma wants the Lady. Okay, never mind. I'm silly. I'm gonna go for Asmodeus. I think that's fun. We're gonna worship a hell demon. I don't know why these people would like be in would like be in the same room together, but whatever. Maybe we need to. Maybe. Touch of evil. Sicken is a melee touch attack. At eighth level, you give a weapon touched. Well, the bane spells rave sickening bone shaker. Bone shaker is pretty good for necromancy. Uh, summon monster nine. We don't need that. I'd probably want to go Fire Domain or Magic Domain. Firebolt is pretty good. Burning Hand, Scorching Ray, Fireball, Controlled Fireball, Flame Strike, Summon Huge Human, Fire Elemental, pretty good. Elemental Body 4, Summon Elder, Fire Elemental, Wolf, Fire Body. I don't, know if, I don't know if we get those. Hmm. Trickery Domain. Uh, magic Domain. Dispelling Touch. Hand of the Acolyte. So, okay. <laughs> As a standard action, you can make a mallage. Okay. Interesting. Resist energy. Spell magic. Protection from energy. That's pretty good. Pre communal. A spell resistance. A spell magic. Greater. Power. Four blind protection from spells. Clashing rocks. So that's pretty good. That's pretty interesting. I didn't know that was a thing. I'm gonna go for fire domain, though. That seems like a better summoner class. Okay, so we got wisdom. We need wisdom. Unfortunately, we don't have wisdom for... Characters. Do we need uh, intelligence to do much? I didn't actually look up. What do we need to do? We need wisdom for saving throws, so... Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and do that, and then maybe... Get some intelligence buff maybe later in the game. That might be fine. I guess if we're gonna stay back, we don't need any cons, so that's fine. Even that's gonna be annoying for uh, stuff, we might want to put like a clone belt on him or something. So we got every single, we got a class skill. Everything is a class skill. What the fuck? Perception, definitely. Uh, what do you got buffed? Let's go for lore skills. I don't even know if these matter at all. And then uh, let's go with trickery. I guess. Just give it more. That's a, that's a, that was a plus four, so let's yeah. Oh no, it's it's plus one. Never mind. Okay, let's see. What do we need to do? Combat casting? No, we don't need that. Elemental focus, fire, probably eventually. Uh, martial weapon proficiency, we don't need. We just need like a light crossbow, and that's it. And as far as what else we need to do... Uh, alertness, no... Huh.
I guess just elemental focus fire would probably be what we need. Just because he has a he has a ray of he is, so this is gonna be like a I guess also filled fire damage. Yeah, probably probably want what we want. Maybe some meta magic to we'll do meta magic later. I think we don't need it now. We don't have any spells anyway. Zero level spells can be used again. Interesting. That's a level zero spell, so I don't have to wait to cast it. Okay. I think that's what we want to do for now. Um, so as far as what we want, we're definitely going to want Conjuration... Wait, um... Probably just going to want Conjuration spells. Hmm... There is no conjuration spells, you don't get them. Oh, there's cure light runes, but we don't need uh we don't need to do that. We don't need that. Well we might need that. Might, that might be useful just to have on you. Uh Let's do Bane. And maybe remove fear. Hmm. We, I think, uh, Bless, maybe. Burn! Slice! Behead! I'll go ahead. My wounds pile on! Yeah, A not... Solid plan! Definitely not that. I have no use for this. I have no need... Forwards! We cannot be def... Enemy near. I... I feel faint! A solid plan! My skills exceed yours. Yeah, that's just the reverse reserve I'm sense. Not touching. I feel faint. Yeah, that sounds good. So, uh, let's go back to this name then generator. We chose a elf. So what we need to do is elf names. Male elf names. Makes sense in universe. Let's see what we need to do. Um, do I like any of these? Maldus? Because he's molding all the time. That sounds fun. Midas? Let's do Maldus. That sounds a little bit better. We're going to do neutral evil. Everyone counts on me. Basically an evil centrist. So like a centrist. <laughs> okay. Um, how long has this recording been going? Holy shit. Oh my god, that's awful. I just noticed I've, been, I've spent an hour in character creation. Holy shit. I'm definitely going to put, like, a thing on the video that's like, skip to this if you want gameplay. So... Mm. Monster Tactician. What is he proficient in? Uh, simple weapons plus long bow, short bow, and favorite weapon of our deity. Light armor, medium armor, and shields. Okay. So, well, bows you can't wield shields with, so whatever. Okay. I think, okay, so I'm going to drop down a save here. Oh my god, this is just character creation, isn't it? Let's just drop, yeah, let's drop down a save here. I don't think I got anything new. Let's go ahead and grab these. Oh, wait, what? I can't wield that? No, I can't. It just gave me a, a, a rapier for no reason. Cool, thanks, game. Okay, game, it actually gave I do have the ice stock. Equipped. I can't see any of my characters, unfortunately, so I don't know if I they have their ability they have their equipment already on. 
I'd hope they would. But we'll see. Do I have white arm proficiency or. No, I can't wear it. Okay. This is for. What is this for? Shared stash. Okay. Where, where can I see my companions? Could you move any slower, Lucy? Yet, yeah, no? There we go. So do they have their weapons equipped already? They do. She's a great sword equipped? Okay. <laughs> and he has a longbow plus a short spear and a heavy mace. I might want to give her the mace, but it is good that I get items. Okay, they do start with items. She starts with medium armor. I definitely want to put heavy armor on her. And he starts with heavy armor. We definitely want to put light armor on you. So it is good that I get some. Yeah, she should definitely have heavy armor on. Uh, unfortunately, I will not be able to buy it, so medium armor is fine for now. So next up, I guess we can create another character then. That's pretty cool. That's, let's see how long this one takes. Probably more. Probably even more time. Yeah, this is going to be like a three hour long video, by the way. So what character, what do we want to create? Do we want to create this like... Another ranged guy, I guess. Maybe an archer. Um, yeah, I guess an archer would be fine. An archer. There's plenty of archer men's in the game. Hold on one second. Let's go back to this. Oh, probably a ranger then, yeah. Let's do a ranger, and then we can do a, uh... And then we can do, like, just a pure ranger, I guess. Maybe a freebooter. If we don't want the, uh... Feet. We can do, like, a... I guess let's just create the port. Let's create the person first, then we'll... Well, eh. Um... Additional skill rank when they gain a level. Okay, and then plus two racial bonus on persuasion checks when persuasion checks when using intimidate. You get to choose one what ability score you get. Okay, um I don't even know if there's any dwarf, like, archer things. I don't know if the dwarf archer will be particularly good. Hold on one second. Let's, let's just go ahead and choose. I want the ranger, so let's go ahead and choose them. <laughs> Look at him. Look at this little lad. I don't, I don't think we want a stormwalker or anything. I don't know the difference. I think we want a pet. So we, if you wanted a pet, you need to go ranger. And you just get a free... Uh, come Stormwalker so you can use storm-based abilities. Read this weapon in lightning. Okay, let's go, let's go Ranger. Let's just go straight up Ranger. Let's be as boring as possible. That's fine. So what is, what, what do these two get to bonus? They get bonuses to con and wisdom. Well, if you're going to be a ranged unit, then I don't want you, I, I want you to be in the front. We could definitely choose, like, a dwarf uh, fighter or something. If we want somebody in the front. A gnome? Are you a gnome? Yes, I am a gnome. Uh, we already chose a human. We're already vanilla like that. We already chose an elf. A gnome might be funny. But that's that's for magic. They're, based, they're better on magic classes, I think. Reptilian goblinoids, uh, offensive against giants, illusion spells and effects, illusion spells. We can do illusion, like an illusion based. I, I think you can get illusion with uh, spells with uh, ranger. Hold on, let me check.
It's at fourth level you get it, right? You get Acid Maw. You get transmutation stuff. Okay, they're transmutation based. Yeah. It's all assault transmutation. Some with some conjuration thrown in some of the but it's almost all transmutation, okay. Maybe, maybe not a thing. We already chose a half wing half half wing. Do we had we didn't do a half elf, did we? I guess we'll do a half elf dude then. That seems to be pretty based, honestly. What we'd want to do. Probably strength, I think. Since we don't really need dex. You have, for some reason, dex uh, works on off of your... Uh... Yeah. Okay, you know what? For half health or injure, that's that's fine. I'll, def I'll go with that. That's fine. I, I, I saw one that I liked earlier, but I, I can't find it, so... Whatever. That's fine. Okay, so we got a plus two racial bonus from strength, of course. As as you get as you do you, as you get, of course maybe some if we're not gonna are we gonna be doing we're gonna need to do in transmutation, so that's definitely we definitely want some wisdom as well. Next, uh... oh wait no deck I forgot just do that. Ranger Texas Big Boss. Okay, so we do need, actually need decks for that. That's unfortunate. We don't have any strength based characters for now. But we'll eventually grab them, that's fine. Definitely probably for for our paladin we should put a we should put a couple points into strength, but whatever. It's fine. It, she won't be doing any damage anyway. Let's see, wisdom. Just do that. Couple points into decks. Eh, let's do that for wisdom. Couple points into decks like that. And a couple points into int for the extra skill points. And then for three. Do we want to do like a charisma buff? Or like a strength buff? We don't need a strength buff, I don't think, at all. Uh. Maybe like yeah, yeah, maybe just a little bit more intelligence. That might be fine. That's probably fine. So we can get some stuff. We wanna we wanna do perception at least. Uh maybe then like We don't need mobility if you're not a character. Does this does this like affect your stuff um not no not particularly but it does start with that so we're just gonna do we're just gonna buff it a little bit and just start with a bonus so we're gonna buff it a little bit okay i guess if he's a ranger then we're probably going to need to do uh like it would make sense for him to know lower nature and lower world okay that's fine let's just do that that's not that not that any of that matters. This is going on for way too long. I spent way too much time. I'm gonna I'm definitely I'm gonna cut out looking for portraits because that's just fucking boring. But as far as skills go, so we got a skill focus. That's pretty good. Let's see, what exactly do we want to do? Perception maybe? For Ranger? Yeah, that'll be fine. And then uh We don't want to do weapon finesse because we're not we're not doing focus, but point blank shock is pretty good. And then weapon focus. We could also do weapon focus, but we're probably just gonna do weapon weapon point blank shot for just that extra hit chance. And then favorite enemies. Oh, yeah, this is super interesting. I don't know what favorite enemies we want to do. As far as definitely not characters. Probably not animals. Hmm. Maybe Magical Beast will work. I said, yeah, I don't know. 
Let's go for magical beasts. That's fine. My skills exceed yours. <laughs> Did we already choose reserve for another other one? We will be victorious. I didn't even break a sweat. I will guide. We will be victorious. The path is clear. Calm down. We cannot be if time's not waiting. Yeah, that sounds fine. Oh, and we need to choose a name. So half elf names. Let's go back to fantasynamegenerator.com because I, I need some inspiration. Half elf. For male names. I believe those are already male names, but Titty? Titty. Really? I like Ken. It's simple. It's, it's memorable. It's, it's edgy. Because of the thing. Let's see. What do we want to do? Let's do chaotic good. For this this mad for this ranger. Don't know what his lore is, but we'll come up with it as we need to. That's fine. I'll go ahead. I think I think what was the was the other guy's voice also pragmatic? I don't remember. It doesn't matter. If it is, then that's gonna be a problem, like figuring out who's talking and who's not. Uh, half elf, favorite enemy, magical beasts. That's fine. I don't know what's in here, what enemies are in here, so the maybe favorite ma favorite enemy, magical beasts, is gonna be bad, but whatever. Three or more ranks in mobility. So that's that's why I was giving mobility to my characters. So fighting defensively is very important, but if you gain uh, if you have three ranks in mobility for your front line, you get. Uh, better fighting defensively, and fighting defensively is incredibly important. Even though it lowers your chance to hit, it's also pretty good. Let's okay, let's add this guy. Let's see if we can't. Let's see if it actually adds. It did add this time, unlike last time when it didn't. Okay, so now we got four companions. I hope this will work out. Uh, I didn't actually check. Let's see. Can we heal? We do not have any healing we have po like Focus slight potions so we're going to die probably immediately i thought we had i thought she came with healing automatically but i guess not she does have treat affliction treat each character only once per day oh the dragon's making noises and it freaked me out for a second but i i, I totally thought he had um, an ability. Unfortunately, he does not. I thought, I, okay, unfortunately she does not. Oh well. That's fine. I, I made that mistake. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna run with it. We'll get, we'll grab a cleric as soon as we make 500 gold. And here is the merchant down here. So, I guess, you know what, I guess we're the people. Let's look at your wish. And how are you? Okay. Seems like more like kind of like honest patches, honestly. How he like steals stuff from bodies. But we don't have any money, so unfortunately we can't do anything with this. We could sell the rapier. But we don't really need to right now. Let's see, what weapons do you guys have? Longbow, of course. Longbow, of course. Yeah, they both have longbows. Fortunately, do you have strength? No. Because, oh yeah, I could have given him strength and given him composite bows, and that would have led him to do strength-based stuff instead of dex-based stuff. Of course, we could also give him just light crossbows. That would be fine. Since they're be a little bit better and do more damage. Okay. Well, let's go. We're going to die immediately because we don't have any items, but whatever. Okay. That's pretty good. We got So we got we to gotta save. Now, let's just save over this one since I since we get items. Since I was worried we wouldn't get items, so but whatever. Now now that I know we do, that's fine. Okay, so we got honest guy. Okay, so let me just go over my characters for anybody who skipped the character creation right here. Uh, we got a sword Lucy, our chaotic neutral sword, human sword saint. So she has she's gonna be dual wielding. Ma I'm not sure why she's holding her hand out like that, but she's our main character. She came here for knowledge, honestly, and just just to prove, improve her skills. That's why she's chaotic neutral. Doesn't really, kind of doesn't really care. Maybe she, eventually she'll care a little bit more about her companions and her stuff. And then we got Astra, that lawful good halfling paladin, because I didn't even have to say lawful good, because all paladins are lawful good. She worships, uh, what is the name of this guy? <laughs> Character. 
uh, class. She worships Iomade, the light of the sword, Lady Valor, goddess of ju righteous valor, justice, and honor. Prob probably, maybe if I wanted to heal, do healing, should have done that domain, but whatever. That's totally fine. Should have done like another guy that did heal. I have healing spells, whatever. Been fine. I'm a little bit worried because I don't have any healing. Um, at least. So, so scroll. Like I've I've like slight healing, but not much. I have like two potions of healing, and that's it. Okay, so we, now we got our uh, Maldus, our neutral evil elf inquisitor. So he's gonna be like he's gonna be summoning creatures. I made him. Not, not an Inquisitor, a monster tactician. So basically, he has summoning ability. He is summoning focus. So that's I think that would be pretty cool. And then we have Ken, our chaotic good half elf uh, ranger. So he's going to eventually get a, compa a, a animal companion that that we're going to use, and he's going to be fighting, of course, from range. And again, he's also going to get a bunch of cool transmutation transmutation spells as well. Spells as well. Okay, let's just go. Nothing else to do but to actually get into here. Uh, yeah, so I right, just dropped down a save. No more companions. We're gonna make 500 gold for another companion, which we eventually do because we're gonna need cleric. We're probably gonna die immediately in this dungeon, but whatever. We can just make as much money as possible. Oh, cool. Hopefully, hopefully I did a nice, uh, well-rounded skill set. We're probably gonna need more DPS. Another DPS guy. As like a straight-up tank. I don't. I don't know if Astrid's gonna cut it. She, I gave her shield, I gave her like heavy armor focus, but she did not come with heavy armor, so we're gonna have to eventually find that. I wonder, okay, we got a trap, uh, hopefully, we'll eventually, hopefully we'll get, good. so who can disarm? Done. Okay. It's a little quiet, isn't it? Hold on. Let me go to, let me set up the options sound. Uh, master volume is a little low. Uh, well, it's probably going to come up in a little bit better recording, honestly. Do 66. The evil number. A goblin. Let's drop down a quick save just to cheat as much as possible. Do I want to go ahead and buff us up? Buff up, buff up, buff up, buff up, up, As a swift attack, you can choose one target in the sun side. Smite targets the evil pound and as a curse bonus to any attack rolls and all damage rolls made against the target of a smite. Smite evil attacks on a smooth fast. Any damage reduction. I need to concentrate. Becoming distracted leads to becoming dismembered. Okay. Yeah, they did have to. Okay, I did make them have different voices, which is cool. Enchantment. Let's go ahead and bless everybody up. I will not. And then you Enemy blast that guy. I'm gonna see. Oh, already took damage. Oh, cool, I killed him. Nice. Defeating powerful enemies sometimes provides a safe place to rest. You can click on special objects the enemies have dropped to rest and recover your health and spells. Okay, okay. So I don't need a healer right now, but I kind of need a healer. Lucy did get hit. So, uh, we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait until we actually need a heal. And go up. Oh my god. Really, guys? You guys aren't spotting traps? Oh, this is gonna be bad. I've no, I don't, th I think I've very rarely not spotted a trap in the base game, so that kind of sucks a little bit. Everybody over here. What have we got? We got gold coins, potion of cure light wounds, and full plate armor. Nice. We can actually finally give some full plate to our paladin. Oh, <laughs> look at her! Look at her! She's so cute. She's adorable. I really should have re I did her hair different. I didn't do that. That was that's my fault. Whatever. I can't really I can't really reset that, unfortunately. 
whatever. I don't. I wonder if this goes away. How long? I'm gonna. I'm gonna, gonna do saves just so I just in case it goes away. Probably should have dropped in a hard save. Or whatever. What have we got here? Anything special over here? Either that or everybody failed their fucking perception checks. So that's totally fine. We got some more goblins. Some more goblins. Do you have any more uh, things? I don't think anybody's under the effects of Bless anymore. We can always do it one more time. Probably should have buffed beforehand. You know what? Just just go ahead and attack now. That's fine. Yeah, don't 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 do bluff. Don't do bless. You don't need it. Nice. Always gotta love attacks of opportunity. Uh, nothing too good here. I have daggers and short bows. That's fine. I'll just have let them both have long bows for now. And we also got complete item. So we got uh, what do we got in here? We got a masterwork gnome hooked hammer. It's okay. A masterwork star knife. Um, if no, I mean, if nobody has, pers nobody has thing. I'm gonna keep the great sword on her until we can get a shield, and then and then I'll take them. She already has a mace. Someone already has a mace, I believe. Oh no, she already has a shield. Hold on, there's already a shield here. Take that off. Doesn't somebody have a mace? I thought somebody had a mace. There you go. I don't care how much damage. I know she's not going to do a lot of damage now, but it's fine. It's fine. We can also sell this. It's not going to make much money, but we could have also sold it for a more better shield or something. Hmm. Spell combat. We do have more, more potions, potions to cure light wounds, but we also have a rest option available, so we can do that if we need to. Let's go over here, let's set up my party so that they're actually in formation, or somewhat in formation. Interesting. Please, stop. Okay, so my main character can pick blocks. What is this effect? It is a uh, DC 14, so I have to roll less. I have to roll less than a nine to fail it, and I almost did. Now I have to roll a ten to pass it. Wait, no, I have to roll a less than a. I have to roll. A, I think I have to roll. Oh, like a three or less. So, yeah, a three or less. Sorry, I, I was doing math wrong. Fuck. That was a nine, that was a three or less. Okay, we're we're almost dead. Um, do I want? To, I guess I can use potions, a couple potions for now. Especially since at this level they are they are effective items to use. So. Oh, do you have fighting defensively on? That might be a problem. Yeah, you should definitely have that on. We don't even need that on. We'll just keep it on, I will honestly. See this through. Uh, and then... Oh, yeah, I forgot about shield. Um, yeah, definitely when I'm charging. Next time I'm charging and I need to do a shield. Next time I need to buff up my characters. Knowledge, we're, okay, you do need, there's checks in here, cool. what I get? Unyielding spirit for 30 minutes. Oh, I need, yeah, for some reason it doesn't, it doesn't, it just, I'm not gonna go, sorry, I didn't mean to check, but I need knowledge portal check succeeded. Uh, she barely made it, holy shit. And then, um, what if the value depends on the dungeon level? Okay. There might also be perception things that I'm not seeing in here as well. 
I wish doors were marked on the map. I was having trouble in the troll light in like the first dun oh, in the first dungeon in the the second major dungeon of the game with that like how, like how doors were marked and I was confused like which doors I'd gone through which doors I hadn't. But let's go ahead and expend one thing from the arcane pool and let's go. How long does this last? A minute. Our time has come. We can also I can also do turn based for a little bit and show you off. This so this game has active combat, active time combat, and it also has turn based combat. Everyone so, counts uh, on me. You see, I yeah. I'll just do that. We will be victorious. Yeah, cool. The charge I believe gives you a plus one bonus to your attack or something like that. Um, with double your an attack during the same action. And then, okay, hold on. I, it doesn't, you, you can't see it here, unfortunately, but I can go into the menu and see exactly what, and tell you exactly what it does. It gives you like a plus one bonus attack, I believe. What is your ranking? Um, modifiers minus one. Well, that sucks a little bit. Make it a little hard to hit. Take that. There we go. Well, whatever, I'm using her as a tank. It's like a pseudo tank anyway, so. Anyway, so goblins don't have anything. There is a chest in here, though. I was successful in my search. Let's go ahead and untrickerize that, although if it's a magic missile, it won't matter. Impossible. Done. Thank you for actually doing it this time. That's a treasure. We could sell that and a masterwork heavy mace. That's gonna be a little bit better for her. Let's go ahead and do a heavy mace. Is this just a heavy mace? Yeah. Give me a little bit bonus. One to seven damage. Wait, what? Can she not? Does she not? Okay, she does more damage with the regular heavy mace. I believe. No, it just it just it changes when I equip it. Probably because I have a bad bonus or something. I accidentally took my shift key off my keyboard and I was trying to do it. Well, not God, I was trying to put it back on while while looking at stuff and it wasn't working. Okay, there we go. It's fine. Just put on the masterwork for now. See, we want to go up here. But we're definitely going to be bad. She's going to be bad for her course for now, but I'm using her defense, and I'm also using her for my evil. She gets better, of course, with levels. Uh, do I want to do a cheeky? Probably should do that. Oh, uh, one of my yeah, my backline's doing a lot of damage right now. I don't need to do that right now. How much does she have? He has a plus five attack bonus, but I have a twenty-five armor class. So good luck. He would have to roll a net twenty to hit me. Nice. Nice hit, everybody. Okay. Nothing too good in here. There is some chests in here, though. And though I, of course, I did, did get perception check right there. What are these perception checks? 18? Yeah, that's not going to be good. Yeah, okay, we're not, not going to get any perception checks for a while, honestly. But we did get a touch boost. Oh, hey! We, and we can't identify it, because nobody's good enough to do it. Nobody has knowledge or cane, I think, on this team. This fucking stupid team. And we could, that's something we can sell, and we got a masterwork rapier that we can sell, of course, but nobody can use it. Okay, so what did we get? We got boots. Uh, probably the boots give you mobility, if I had to guess. These are probably the mobility boots. So if I want, was to look up mobility plus four. 
No, I don't. I don't know what it did. Look, let's just put the boots on. That's fine. Maybe we can eventually identify it when we level up. And we got it. We okay. We can go down if we want. Nice. But we do want to explore a little bit more. I think there's a door here. And we also want to rest. There's not. There's not a door there. I don't think this this area is, counts as being dark, so it's probably fine just to rest, just to good. I, I, yeah, let's hold on. I'm gonna turn on turn-based combat for now, just to show off what it does, what it looks like as well. Let's okay. Let's open this door. What's in here? Uh oh. Okay. I don't need. I don't need this tutorial. Let's see. So we can charge. We can definitely do a charge. We don't close this, so we just not in the way. Plus one fighter, one corrupted creature. Of course, that's the class. It's a, it is. Or is that the type of creature it is? Let's do. Let's go ahead and charge. Nice. There's more goblins. Goblins back there. Ow. Are you, you're fighting offensively, right? Oh, maybe I should have waited for my paladin to charge in. Nice. This should do it. Uh oh. Yeah, this guy appears to be the boss man. We're gonna go ahead and do this. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm gonna provoke attack opportunity from doing that. I, th I think she's dead. Oh, never mind. They're all attacking her. They're all attacking the other character. Strike as one. Oof. A calculated risk. Ooh, looks like this enemy's kind of hard. Um. Yeah, I gotta stun that guy behind. I don't think I can do anything else. Hopefully that'll help me out a little bit. I mean, they, those goblins got lucky rolls earlier. Definitely. Do not hold back. What did I need to roll? Uh, 16 or higher? No. Oh. This will hurt. I had to fuck this guy for shit. Aim carefully. There we go. Please don't snipe her. Nope, she got sniped. Unfortunate. We shall overcome. Nice nat one, idiot. Let's try this way. Um, I can kind of see that my characters are a little bit unlo um, unoptimized right now. To say the least. Switch to 20 movement mode. But I also don't have very much equi good equipment, so... Probably should have also buffed my party, but... I could still do it if I wanted to. But I am getting attacks of opportunity at this point, so...
Don't worry, once I get that epic crane style. Was she was she not fighting defensively? I don't think she was. Right there. Oh, you should also be fighting defensively, come to think of it. Even though it's going to be even worse as far as attack goes. Here you go, Ken. This should do it. Oh, don't you have... You have array, array attack, right? You could be using magic, right? Shit. Damn, he's getting... They're getting fucking owned, huh? You are fighting invincibly, okay? For some reason, it's not on. I don't know what's going on. It's just not showing up as the as a ability that they have on. Strike as one. Fortunately. A calculated risk. My dog is my best character. It's the only character that can fucking hit anything. Gonna bless everybody. There we go. Don't know why he exploded, but okay, that that bit is these arrests. Okay, it's an arrest guy. Masterwork comma. Okay, don't need that. What's in here? We got gold coins, uh, some stuff we can sell. A scroll of True Strike, that's pretty good, and an unidentified cloak, which is cloak of resistance plus one. Done. Uh, I don't know why he went for it and not the other character, but whatever. Some stuff we can sell. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and save and rest. Did I set up their spell books? I don't think I did. Not that it matters, but... Yeah, we just want shield for now, that's fine. The shocking grasp would be good, but we need to level up to get that. So, but I think shield is more important for now. Bane and Bless, it's fine. How, how much close am I to leveling up? Not that close. Okay, let's see. Let's go down. Uh, if, we, if we get a full... I'm just... I'm not gonna save scum anything. I'm just gonna go, because I... I think it... You know, and if I die... I'll save at the start of each floor, and if I die... Or, like, maybe at the beginning of each combat, I don't know. If I die in that combat, I just I just exit. If, it just, if it's, like, a you die permanently thing... But otherwise, let's do another save, I guess, and then um, let us not our hesitate. Duty calls. Do you have fighting this way on? Yes. I know what to do. We should prepare. Do you not have Focus fighting on the defense plate? Oh, you do. Let's get in here. Uh, nothing too good. Nothing that I want. Definitely want. Is this sorted? No. Of course not, what would it be? Definitely take all the masterwork items just to sell them later. Depths of madness descent into the darkness. The, those are the skills I'm getting currently. Let's just make sure I'm still recording at a decent rate. Cool. I am. Awesome. Let's go in here. Let's do... Anything else in here? Do I need to get closer to, like, a thing to maybe see? Something I need to see? Or is this just, like, an open room? I guess it's just, like, an open room. Okay. That's fine. Let's see. How many goblins are in here? Some stuff I could sell. Some more potions we can use. He actually had to unlock it, so that's pretty good. What is the... It 
doesn't say how much. Oh, I got a thousand experience for getting for getting past that dungeon. Oh, cool. I really should have blessed, buffed my characters up. I'm dumb. I did get um attack of opportunity though, or like a stealth, like a whatever. You know. I mean, should I summon for this fight? I guess I guess if there's less than seven fights. I could just summon a monster each time, right? Summon one monster for each fight. Uh, you don't have any special abilities right now, so we just uh, we're just gonna use you to attack people. No, you can't reach. Yeah, go ahead. And, go ahead and shield up. That's fine. Probably shouldn't have. I actually mean to do it. I, I, I usually have a uh, charge on one, so I'm definitely going to do that. Put that back on. Do not hold back. Your regular goblin, okay. Get rid of the archer first, I guess. A solid plan. Nice. Gonna attack that guy? That's better than them attacking me, honestly. Let's try this way. Having a lot of trouble hitting these little goblin, these gobos. Can I run to this guy? No, I cannot. Hold on. Definitely need to put that there just so I can have it on the same on the place I'm used to, just so I don't accidentally click shield like I just did. We shall overcome. He is flanked, so I mean it's gonna help the dog hit. So who's my who's honestly going to be my main like damage dealer for now? Okay, what have we got here? They have just one door to go through. Okay, everybody get get kind of over here. There's some goblins, so I'm gonna go ahead and bless everybody I in the world. We will prevail. Oops, excuse me, I didn't mean to sniffle. Despite doing it all the time. Yep, that guy charged at me, definitely. This should do it. Pull that one. You know, for with when you're in unfortunately when you're when you are in um when you are in turn based mode you see a lot of your dice rolls and it, it can get pretty frustrating when you keep rolling low. But like so that's why I kind of have uh the other one turned on. This looks like a restable area. Nice. Okay, definitely my mages are about are going to be doing much damage, as is the case for men for like early game D and D stuff like that. We can use this one like for for combat too. Ah, oh, come on. A calculated risk. I mean, I have a less than a fifty percent. I have like a forty percent chance to hit. I think so. Maybe forty-five. Strike as one. Nice. How much health do these idiots have? Eight hit points, so she almost killed. There we go. Not sure why we, she went around that way. Maybe she couldn't, like, squeeze through this. Ow. Okay. We're just gonna keep blasting these guys. I don't even know why I walked forward. This it didn't matter. Hurt. Didn't need to do it because I don't. Rage does not matter in this case. Do not hold back. Oh, 
Angela, please attack the opportunity. <laughs> Thank you. Did he hit me? Yeah, he hit me. He, hit, he missed. Okay. Cool. That's what I was hoping would happen. Nope, nothing. These goblins have nothing on them. We got a thing, we got a thing, we got a thing. Wand of Hurricane Bow. That's pretty good. Hurricane Bow is pretty good. Unfortunately, you can't read it from this menu because uh, this game's good. And I don't want that. I guess I could take it for an uh, uh, item, but I, I'm already heavy, so... Yeah, like, uh... Dell's damage is one size larger. There. Which is, I'm firing from medium bow, so it'll do a 2d6 instead of a 1d8, which is, on average, going to be better. Okay. Pretty good. The doggo is gone, unfortunately. Really should pause while I'm looking at stuff, just so I don't run out of my buffs. Okay. That was did not apparently did not count as a. Let's see if we can't get this. Hope we probably can't. No. That's fine. Not mad at all. Completed. Not unlock. That's totally fine. Let's go up first, I think. Uh, I didn't I didn't see any perception checks in there, so let's just keep going until... I guess we'll just use the first uh, item we get. Let's, let's do a quick save, just in case a bug happens. Which he, oh my god, spiders. Oh no. I am prepared. The road awaits. Let's bless up. Probably summon a guy over here. Okay. Got a spoder. Ow. Okay, we're gonna let that dog take care of that while we take care of this giant spider. Nice. Damn it. I was really hoping that wouldn't happen. I don't have delay poison either on anybody. Well, that was quick. Hold on, did she have... She doesn't have fighting defensively on, what the fuck? She didn't have it on. See, because you could see it would it would totally do. Oh, she's flat footed. That's why I don't. Okay, I don't know why she was. Whatever. I don't. I don't. I still don't understand what exactly gives you flat footed and what doesn't. Maybe it's. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That kind of sucks. Overcome. Of course. Missed both of his attacks of opportunity. That's pretty cool. Nope. Nah, I really should not do that anymore. Hey, at least she has a 20. Well, that's not good. This should do it. Definitely want to take this guy out first, but man, no, I do want to back up a little bit, just so he can't break. Attack! Uh, line of sight. So, so he can't break off and just attack one of the. He, he has to break off to attack one of the characters attack. at least. So he's less likely to do it. I need to summon a. Uh, uh, dude. 
I mean, good luck hitting her. A calculated risk. But there we go. Do you think this guy's evil? No. Neutral. It had it up there. These guys are neutral evil, okay. Strike as one. Go ahead and summon another creature. We can go all out since we need to rest anyway. Really? Fuck me. I thought I was far enough, but apparently I wasn't. This will hurt. There we go. Now he's dead. Fortunately, I cannot dash to that guy. Do not hold back. Maybe I'll dash to this guy. Yeah, they're not. They're an easy time hitting that guy. A solid plan. Nice. But like, I don't know what caught her, what made her flat-footed. I would like to. I wish I like. Uh. Let's knew how that works more a little bit better. But whatever, it's fine. Hey, yeah, you're good. Apparently, I cannot dash at that guy, which is pretty we cool. Shall for no, for almost no reason. I, I don't think I don't. I don't understand why. Both of them hit there, that's pretty cool. This should do it. Still doing shit damage because I don't have good Attack! weapons. I think in the in the base game you start with masterwork weapons at least. And also I was punching people. I guess my main character was kinda of doing shit damage at the beginning as well. There we go. I just guess go all go all out on this. Oh, well, you can't reach. No, he can't reach with that. Whatever. A calculated risk. No. Strike at one. There we go. I think, okay, we got. Okay, what do we got? We got unidentified helmet. We can't identify. I don't think stack helmet. Okay. We got banded male, heavy armor banded. I think we already got a better uh, he heavy armor, right? Oh, we're over encumbered. We can't do We're going to have to drop some stuff. Is that better? No. Go ahead and drop that, yeah. Okay, that, that, that uh, kind of revealed a lot of that. Let's just that on her and that on her oh my god she's fucked up probably need to get, put this away as well I don't think these goblins are gonna have anything interesting on them no really that was it huh is there there's a room over here I guess okay let's let's rest we need to. We also need to uh, level up as well.
Okay, so another mage's level should help us out quite a bit. Unfortunately, got spell strike. So we're, now we're going to want to equip a uh, spell. We're going to want to equip that shocking touch attack. Now, um, so for... I, I, I do want to do, like, Dragon Disciple. So we need Knowledge Arcana 5 to do that. It's, that's because that's a re it's a really good uh, class. You can just do, like, a couple levels in. And do I want to do Magus level... If I want to do, like, I don't know, like, four levels. Would this give me a good thing? Counter-Strike. Nice. Arcane Weapon plus 5... Nah, that's not good. Great. And maybe eh, that's pretty good. Some, yeah, some levels. Okay. Some levels actually give you stuff. So what is this? New spells level 5. Okay, so the last time I think you get spell... Okay, you get spells here. So we do want to buff up her knowledge, Arcana. If we want to go if we want to go Eldritch, a Dragon Disciple, we can definitely do that. Yeah, we're... we're okay, we already buffed it up. Good. Then, um, it's fine. What do we want to do here? We need to grab shocking glass. So, what do we want to grab? Uh, not that. Corrosive touch. Was that not available last time? And uh, melee. That's melee touch attack. That's pretty good. And then just. Uh, Burning hands, not that we'll get to equip it, but yeah, burning hands is fine. Okay. So as far as what we want to equip, she unfortunately has now strength damage uh, by one, which is very extremely unfortunate. I think he also has, like, massive strength damage, yeah. That's, that's really bad. Can I use the Treat Affliction thing? I don't actually know. So what do we need to do now? Keep leveling up Paladin. Bonus to all saving throws equal to her charisma. And then heal wounds by touch. That's pretty good. Sorry, I told my dog to quit licking the carpet. Okay, let's do this. Uh, what, are we, what were we doing? We were doing perception and mobility. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's fine. We definitely need mobility three, and then we could just go whatever we want for anything else. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Level two, monster tactician. At second level, Inquisitor adds. Wisdom modifier and initiative checks in addition to a dexterity modifier. That's the only thing I get, I guess. Okay, not great, but he's already pretty good, honestly. He's already doing, like, probably the best out of anybody. So that's fine. Okay! What do we what do we want? What the fuck do we want? We want cure light wounds just to it seems no. Hmm.
Pause, fear, no. I guess since we're fighting mostly, let's just do protection from the line. That's fine. How did he get a minus five, a roll of minus five on his ability? Oh, cool. We actually identified it. A constant effect of the feather step spell. And ignore difficult terrain. Okay, cool. Ranger time. At second level, Ranger must select one combat style to pursue. Ranger's expertise manifests as bonus feats at second, sixth, tenth, fourteenth, and eighteenth level. He can choose the feats from the selected combat style, even if he does not have the normal pre we work with it. Okay, cool. So now, stealth, knowledge, world, lore, nature, perception, and persuasion. That sounds fine. And we're definitely going to do archery. Do we not already have precise shot? We had point blank shot. Rapid shot is also good. But we'll, we'll take precise shot for now. So that's... Uh, the, uh, normally you'd have to take minus four attack if you're attacking someone who's engaged in melee. But... Now you don't have to. Uh, yeah, just kind of precise shot. That's about it. Kind of boring, little, kind of boring with the low levels, but whatever. That's fine for now. Unfortunately, we are. Can I treat that with a flick? Treat affliction. Uh, disease or poisoned character. I don't think ability damage counts. That's that sucks, by the way. That 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 ability damage. Holy shit, that's awful. Minus five. Damn, I didn't think it went. I didn't think you could get that low. There is a door here. I don't know if there was a door earlier. I don't think there was. Let's just open this one. There's more spiders. Yay. Too quick save. Defeat is not an option. I'm about to get flanked big time right now. This will hurt. That guy, maybe. Yeah, these giant spiders need to go. One back up. Uh, let's attack this. Let's attack the little spider first. Really? Oh, the two, the D twenty. Let's try this way. You are a fickle mistress. Nope, not gonna hit. It's cool. Yeah, just keep. Uh, probably what? Yeah, just bless up. Did the dog get plus? Does the dog get plus up too? I don't know, it doesn't look like it. Bro. This should do it. Hit now. 
I'm just rolling low. I don't. I, I didn't. I got better. I got way better hit chance now, but I'm just rolling low, even on damage. Can I hit this? Maybe. No. Nope. I'd probably need to true strike to make that work well at this level. Two. Man, low level combat, huh? A calculated risk. You do be just not attacking me, huh? Strike as one. Just, just, just love one. Meaning ones. It's pretty cool. And she doesn't find us one from strength, but. Aim carefully. There we go. Oh. Nice. Probably kill the goblin real, real quickly, actually. This will hurt. Just who's not hitting me. Roll to five. Do not hold back. Pretty cool. Attack. I believe that the enemy misses three times. The game specifically said if the enemy misses three times in a row, it will it will not um, attack the same enemy. If the AI it's missing, at least I'm only Let's taking ones. There we go. Thank you. We shall overcome. At least this guy is, is like, it needs to roll like a 17 to hit. Canny defense shield. A solid plan. Although I don't think they'll escape. Um... Wow. Nope, not gonna attack. This totally fine. Do it. Finally. Got a decent Attack. fucking hit. There we go. Forwards. I guess the dog gets two attacks at close at when he when he doesn't move. Yeah, no, I'm just hoping I a hit. Calculated risk. Well, this is the most likely to hit, of course. Strike as one. Hmm. Okay, well at least at least he's attacking the D, the twenty AC, so there we go. What'd you have? Nothing? Why did it let me select you? Then What have we got? Amulet of Mighty Fist plus one. Doesn't that give you like weapon finesse? Unarmed attack to the neck for weapons. Oh, that's like bites and yeah. I don't have anybody that can use that. We can probably sell that then. I mean, that's good for monks, but cool. Good. For some reason, they weren't selected. Let's go in one more room before we uh, mess up anything. Let's go in a quick save just in case something, some bug happens. Uh, Our victory is certain. How long do I have this? Seven rounds? Okay, that's fine. This will hurt. Nice. Do not hold back. Attack. What are you going to do, dog? Run up to him? Yeah, probably. That's what I'd do. Let's try this way. Nope. 
I believe, yeah, if you, if you have to use, if you have to move less than five feet, you can move an attack on the same, on the same turn. Really? Why? Is there a rebel in the way? Yeah, I guess so. Make sure so he can't provoke attacks of opportunity. Nope. We shall overcome. Ow. What the fuck, dude? Why? A solid plan. I don't, this guy actually has a really good hit. Do it. All these guys. Oops. There we go. He be dead. Okay. Let's uh go ahead and everybody do that. Go ahead and get that thing. Please don't step on the thing, dog. Oh. Cool. See if there's anything cool here. No. Anything epic? Nope. Literally nothing. Let's go back in here and rest. It appears every every floor there will be two, at least for now, there has been two of these every time, so let's go ahead and rest. And now we got Shocking Grasp, which is pretty cool. Where is it? It's over here. Okay! We made it to another level. What what uh, level are we? Level two, not we won't we definitely won't level up from this, but I think my dog wants to go outside. So let's see. How long have we been recording? Um I think that's a good length for the first episode. Even though most of it was character creation, I'm probably gonna have to count out like twenty minutes of looking for portraits. So anyway. Uh yeah, that's pretty that's pretty good. Um, yeah, as far as portraits, as far as these characters go, we did we did pretty well. I mean, like the first fight was not bad, but as soon as everybody hit level two, it felt it felt like everybody kind of came a little was a little bit better. Um, but that that ability to, that minus five fucking ability damage, holy shit! Minus fucking five. I would I I really need to delay poison. Minus fucking five. Holy crap. That's that's the most I've ever seen in this game, and I had I had a really annoying encounter with them in the first dungeon. Oh well, well I guess I'll stop here, and then I'll see you guys maybe next time. Maybe I'll release these weekly. Now I think that would be pretty fun. We could like go through like an entire run through of of this with original characters we made. That sounds pretty good. Uh, thank you for watching. See ya.